Hey everybody, it is me, Vincent, and I am here at Busch Gardens Tampa Bay on the very first day of pass member previews for the brand new, highly anticipated roller coaster, Iron Quasi. This is the fastest, tallest, steepest hybrid coaster in America. It goes 206 feet up in the air. It's got a 91 degree drop and it reaches speeds of 76 miles per hour. It is going to be very, very intense and I am excited, although a little bit nervous to actually ride. but. We're doing it today. So welcome to the latest episode of Vincent Vision. Watcha! Hey, it's me, Vincent. We're here at Bush Gardens. And like I said, it is the past member previews of Iron Gwazi. This is a really, really anticipated roller coaster in the roller coaster community here in Florida. This is the first day. There are a lot of different preview days for all the different tiers of pass holder, but I'm platinum pass holder, baby, which means I get first dibs. So I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right into it. I'm gonna get in line, put my bag away, stick this camera in a locker and get ready to try out this brand new roller coaster. People are getting off over here. They seem super excited, super happy. I am uh, ha happy and excited as well. And I need to get in line now because uh, it was a 60 minute wait, now it's a 90 minute wait. So let's just go ahead and stop talking and start this video. Crazy enough, Iron Gwazi has a 48 inch height requirement, which is crazy, crazy to me. There are some much less wilder roller coasters here in Florida that have a much taller height requirement, but I think that is because it is just a lap bar, not an over the shoulder restraint. And I think there's also a seat belt, which is pretty darn crazy, but enough chit chat. Let's go ahead and get in line, shall we? Okay. All right, here we go. We really don't know what to expect. It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. It was awesome. <laughs> oh man. We love free swag. Thank you very much. I am one of the first people to officially ride Iron Gwazi. Yeah, that was a. Uh, that was alright. It's just okay. It was alright. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It was awesome. It was super intense, super fast. Like, I did not have time to process this roller coaster so I need to go on again before I really formulate my thoughts on Iron Gwazi. You know, is it better than something like Velocicoaster which is extremely popular? I don't know yet, but it was pretty darn awesome. That sort of death roll is what they call it where you do the roll and it kind of goes down like that. That was a really, really cool feeling and I don't know, it was awesome. I, I'm doing a really bad job at explaining this, but this is a really fun, exciting, thrilling roller coaster. Sturdy, you know? I sat kind of in the middle and I, I don't feel like I got as much of like the flying out of your seat moments. It was still pretty 
pretty exciting. I want to jump on again. It's having some delays right now due to high winds. So we're just going to have to see what happens. They stopped letting people in at 6 o'clock for today's preview. So fingers crossed we can try to find a way in before it closes again. Because I'd like to do this at least one more time while I'm here. But until then, we're just going to have to hang out and wait for another chance to ride Iron Gwazi. You need some beads. You got a fancy camera out here. I would love beads, actually. Oh Thank you so much. I truly, truly appreciate that. There you go. Wow, look at that. Ooh. You got your Mardi Gras beads. I know. I know. It matches with the coaster. Well, I mean, it's probably themed off of me anyway. Oh, right. Oh, you know, I, you know, I was wondering, and now it makes sense. I'm, like, I'm a Mardi Gras chicken. <laughs> oh. But I know this is, like, gator-themed, alligator, crocodile-themed, but it goes with my colors nicely. <laughs> So, you know, I would, I would, I would maybe say not to do this ride because alligators are probably quite fond of chickens. I would imagine not in the way that you would expect. <laughs> so it's about 5:15 now. Um, the ride has been closed for a little bit. It's been close to an hour. High winds, apparently. Apparently, it's going to be a problem. I hope this is not going to be like a problematic roller coaster where something like the Red Rocket at Universal Studios where it just closes all the time. I just heard like tons of cheering from the station down over there. So maybe, just maybe, hey Andrew, how are you? Maybe, just maybe, they are getting ready to put people back on. Who knows, who knows? But uh, I think uh, I think we're gonna give it a shot, right? I mean, we're here to see Aranguazi, right? So well, let's go ride Aranguazi, if it's open. Oh! Did you hear that? It's people cheering. All right, oh my gosh, I feel like, uh, I'm like excited, I feel like a kid again, this is awesome. Okay, let me put this guy away, and then we're switching back to the GoPro. See you guys in a bit. <laughs> oh man. Look at this view. I mean, come on. When roller coaster enthusiasts call coasters sexy, I think I get it. Because this, uh, this is a pretty sexy roller coaster. <laughs> Andrew was trying to do like a backwards POV where like you filmed like that. And instead, it just like ended up where he just filmed the top of his head the entire ride through. <laughs> so, uh, that's definitely an interesting video. Uh, but we're gonna try and do it one more time before they uh, close. They've actually extended the preview from 6 to about 7.15 because of the high winds. It had a lot of delays. The ride's been closed for what? Almost like two hours? Yeah, close to it. Yeah, so they, it's nice that they're extending, which is really, really awesome. I'm actually gonna just like not record this ride through and just enjoy it because it is a pretty great roller coaster and I'm very happy and grateful that I was able to ride it as many times as I did today because today seemed like it was a challenging day. It's a kind of a long line and it went down a good amount of times, but we're gonna get ready to get on in just a minute. Uh, let's do Iron Gwazi at night, at twilight. People are cheering behind me because Gwazi is back in business. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where's it Gwazi? Oh, where's it Gwazi? Oh, there it is in the dark. You can barely see it. I hear, I'm coming, I'll be there in a second. Oh. All right, let's go ride this thing. 
See you in a bit. All right, I gotta say, I gotta admit, I was a little unsure about my feelings on Iron Gwazi until I rode it at night in the back. Holy moly, what an awesome roller coaster. That was so intense, so wild. That death roll, this little thing right over here, that's some pretty serious stuff. That was, that was awesome. I felt like I was like, I was like, I was like piloting an X-wing through a, like a trench or something. I don't know, it was, it was so cool. That was awesome. That was really, really great. Um, it is very cold. I am ready to drive back to Orlando with my heater on full blast. Let's get out of here. What a ride that Iron Gwazi is. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Pretty fun, successful Iron Gwazi day at Busch Gardens. Thank you guys for watching Vincent Vision. Please be sure to like, subscribe, tell your friends, all that good stuff. Watch some more of my videos. Um, do I really need to say it? Come to Busch Gardens, experience Iron Gwazi for yourself. If you've got an annual pass, um, try to find a time because there are so many different previews before the ride officially opens on March 11th. But if you can't make it until then, just whenever you find yourself in Florida or Tampa again, you gotta do Iron Gwazi. It is very, very good. I'm gonna get on out of here. It's very cold. And uh, yeah, I'm so excited for my car's heater. So thank you guys for watching and bye-bye. Uh, Iron Gwazi, you the best. You wanted the best. Bye-bye.